so in this video we will install uh, python and django on our server the droplet and also install the unicorn which is a web server the application server sorry so i am logged in to my droplet right and i will just update the applications right so i am following one uh, this blog which is very nicely written by digitalocean so i will put the link of this blog in the description so here we'll just go step by step and we will install uh, you can see a lot of things we are installing python and postgres also uh, right now will not configure this but just because uh, it's installing in future we might need it so i'm installing that and nginx and uh, curl also so just say yes right it very fast in uh, the cloud it just uh, installs all the packages that you need right so this is the power of cloud computing you can see directly you can log in to the server and the server is so quick if you have to do this in your local machine it might take a longer time right, so let it install and uh, now packages are installed so i'm skipping this part right because we are not configuring the database right but i'll do this virtual environment right so just taking some time so what i will do is i will install pip3 right and i will install a virtual environment okay i will remove this part uh, nothing much for you to see right now i will install pip so pip is a uh, utility to install any python package right so we'll have to do the sudo so pip is installed i will also install virtual environment right virtual environment is also installed uh, yeah when the, with virtual environment we can start forming it so we don't need to form our project because our project is already here right the learn 21 is our project right and to just activate the environment uh, first we can create a virtual environment right so i can say just env and now you will see one folder env folder is created and to activate the virtual environment we have to do uh, bin and activate right now you can see this here in the local also we saw this env sort of a tree script is coming so this is the virtual environment now uh, if i go inside this uh, okay ideally there should be a requirements.txt file yeah it's there so i can do pip install minus r requirements so it should have all the requirements that this project needs like this project needs a django uh, utility needs pipil which is python imaging library so i just put everything when i am developing in my local machine in the requirements.txt and then uh, on the server i can just do pip install minus r recursively and install all the requirements all the dependencies okay now all the dependencies are also involved great and activate is done uh, i think now we should be able to see our if i do python manage.py run server like something like this i'm just checking okay now it says server running now if i go to this uh, 139 dot 59 dot what was the ip address uh, right this we should see our website hopefully uh, nginx is working okay 
we got something we got the Django uh, page we have to add this to the allowed host ideally we should uh, add it uh, in the local and then push but for just for checking sake I will just add it right and I go to settings up here just add in the allowed host and then just check for now if this is working fine okay now I will do python minus dot python server okay so one thing I think we'll have to do is uh, allow this port 8000 port to open right so we'll just open this port now let's see it's still not working okay okay my bad I have to run it like this zero zero I think it worked great great so our website is up but again it is running using the Django server we have to run it using Unicorn so in the next video we'll see how we can use Unicorn to run this so at least everything is set um, all the pages etc as you can see are coming in the uh, the IP address so it's on internet great but we have to run it through Unicorn and through uh, Nginx. So we will see that in the next video. Thank you.